Self-study of clinical looking glass, tutorial 10, build for cohorts. For further understanding of cohorts, read Riddles in Accountable Healthcare by Iran Bellin, available through Amazon, either as a paperback or Kindle. These are the four cohorts we are going to build in preparation of our next class. They include pneumonia patients, for whom pneumonia is the primary diagnosis. In 2010, we're going to look at cohorts of males, cohorts of females, where the index event is an admission or index event is a discharge. As we did before, we're going to build a cohort. We hover over collections and cohorts. We choose folder. We name the folder pneumonia. We save and exit. We then hover over the pneumonia folder. We right click. We hover over new and then hover over cohort. And now we're going to name the cohort as pneumonia. And in fact, this is going to be either bacterial or viral pneumonia. We have an incomplete line on the event canvas, and the GUI editor is going to let us fill that in. We're going to write pneumonia. In fact, we're going to call this pneumonia 2010 males discharge. We're going to choose earliest. Event definition is the new event definition. Discharge pneumonia. From the drop down, we're choosing inpatient discharge. The definition box, we hover over it, we right click, we add a condition. A GUI editor appears below. We're going to choose the admission based on an ICD-9 diagnosis group, inpatient ICD-9 group. We need to build a set. We hover over the three dotted button, which will let us build the set. It highlights itself. We left click and a set builder opens up. We clear the previous list. Now we're going to look for pneumonia as a diagnosis. We type in PNEU, not even the entire word, and you'll see in a minute why. We search, and we see all these pneumonia cases. We see some tuberculosis, by the way. It's not what we want. We see histoplasmosis. We see viral pneumonias. We see pneumocystis pneumonias, bacterial pneumonias, a whole range of different pneumonias. Now we can bring them all over at all and then sequentially remove the ones we don't like. So the tuberculosis pneumonia we want to get rid of. We're going to shift click. They all get highlighted. We remove. Salmonella pneumonia, plague. These are very unusual pneumonias. We'll keep them here. Viral pneumonias, flu, pseudomonas pneumonia. Notice here, flu, it has PNEU, so if we had written pneumonia, this would not have been picked up. Ventilator pneumonia, allergic alveolar pneumonia, we're going to get rid of the allergic alveolar. We 
have all sorts of pneumoconiosis here. Thorax, obviously, that's not a pneumonia. Let's remove these. Let's check again to make sure we don't have anything that's not a bacterial pneumonia again, or a viral pneumonia. Well, here's the allergic pneumonias again. Let's highlight them all. Pneumothoraces we don't need. Shift, left click, and remove. And now we believe we have a set of bacterial and viral pneumonias. We also have some fungal pneumonias here. We'll leave them in for the moment. We'll just save this as pneumonia. It's saved. We now close. We're going to choose pneumonia. User pneumonia. We're going to choose as primary only. Update and close. Occupies this area. Update and close. So we have discharge pneumonias. Duration definition, we're going to define a duration definition that's going to be the year 2010. And that's from 1 1 2010 to 1 1 2011. We include the 2010, we exclude the 2011. Update and close for the demographics. We left click on that. New demographics definition. And we're going to say gender equals male. Right click, add condition. The condition will be gender equals to male. Update and close. Update and close. Update and close. And now we're ready to build. These are going to be 2010 male discharges with pneumonia. And that's 769. But we're not finished yet. Because we want to make sure these are people who were discharged and discharged alive. They have to survive the admission. So what additional changes must we add to this? We have to edit this line. Edit. We have to edit the event itself. So let's left click on this, choose modify event definition. Now we're going to add another condition, add a condition, and that condition is disposition equals to, we'll choose expired, and then not. So we only want those patients whose disposition was not equal to expired. We update and close. So we have ICD-9 equals to pneumonia as a primary diagnosis, and we have the requirement that the disposition was not equal to expired. We update and close. We now update and close, and now we build again. If you recall before, we had 769 patients, and now we have 753. 753 pneumonia patients who were not expired and who are discharged, and who are males. Now we want to build the female group. Notice you have this cohort here. We want to do this quickly, so we choose Save As. We change this to Females. We go back in the line, and we edit it. And now all we're going to do is we're going to edit the demographic with a new demographic definition. And the new demographic definition is going to be Female. We right click on this, add condition. The condition is gender equals to female, update and close, update and close, update and close, 
and because we checked off save as and gave it a new name, it will create a new cohort here with females in it who survived the discharge. And that is 927. So we built the two cohorts very quickly. Now we want to build the cohorts of patients based on the admission date. So we're going to change it to be admission. We need to change the event from a discharge to an admission. Admit with pneumonia. Please select inpatient admission. And as before, we have to add the two conditions. First, the ICD-9 group in set pneumonia, make it primary, update and, uh, update and close. We have to add another condition, and the other condition is not disposition equal to expired. Update and close. Update and close. And now we're going to have the admissions for females. Discharged alive and their total of 932 females. You may recall that the we looked at discharge, there were only 927. So you're capturing some people differently. When the index date is the admission date, you're asking who are the admissions in 2010. When the index date is discharge, you're asking did the discharge happen in 2010. It's not exactly the same. Now we want to build the males. This is very easy as you saw before. Click, edit, change the gender we had developed this once before so we just write the mail update and close and this is 762 So now you've rapidly built the four cohorts that you need, and here they are. One last subtle point while we're here anyway. Let me go into the edit mode. And let's modify this. There has always been, we had the name, we had the event type, we had this endpoint event, which defaults when it's inpatient admission to be inpatient admit. And if it's an inpatient discharge, it defaults to inpatient discharge. What this lets you do is it lets you select on the inpatient admission in 2010, but you might want to actually use as the index date for those admissions the inpatient discharge. So you're able to select on the inpatient admissions in 2010, but actually record as the index date the inpatient discharge. So for durational events, you always have the option of selecting based on what the thing is itself, but then using the index date as either the start or the stop date of that duration. It's a nice little feature. I usually use things with their own use the endpoint event for the event type, but there are sometimes situations where you need the other. Just to remind you, now that you've finished building, you don't want to save, you just want to exit. Yes, I do. And you have the four cohorts that you were supposed to build. Notice also, down here, look down here. Actually, it's not on your screen. I don't think you can see it. 
But if you look at the bottom left-hand corner as you hover over these cohorts, you will see the number of medical record numbers that belong to those cohorts. Even though this video is not showing it, if you go to the bottom of the screen, you will find the number of members of that cohort.